Make sure the boards are clean. Slip the bearing in like so. On the thrust bearing, you look at this side versus this side. This side's flat. This side is concave. That goes against the crankshaft and it's going to set. Oh. Going to set right there on the lip. See the lip right here? It's got to set on. Okay, what we can do is use some Silaglide or some oil to help hold those in there. Okay, we're going to use this stuff. Take and put a dab. Back here. All the way around. Set him right here. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, then we're going to get our Lucas oil, our engine oil essentially. We're going to put down there, there. Don't want to get it in the bolt holes, we want to get it mainly on the bearings themselves. five um, engine assembly grease probably works better than anything okay so we got a good there and we're gonna come over here and we're gonna make sure all our crank journals are clean um, compressed air works really well or this one was already pretty clean so I'm just gonna wipe it real quick And we're going to go ahead and so here we've got back out here. Got a strap here and a strap here. It's on the number one and number six um, rod bearing throws. Pick the crank up. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put our crankshaft in. Notice I've got it suspended on both sides, here and there. It only fits in one way. Normally you'd want to pick up here and here if we could, but this particular crankshaft won't go in that way, just to keep it from bending and that type of thing. So we're going to drop this crankshaft down in here. to wiggle it around a little bit most of the time actually get it to go in sometimes they just don't fit quite right like you think they would hitting there and there so we're gonna have to twist it so 
don't like finagle when I'm like this, but that's what we gotta do, so that's what we're gonna do. here these bearings are trying to push themselves out so we've got to make sure that sits in there correctly make sure the thrust bearings didn't fall out okay and then we're going to get a screwdriver Push those bearings back and forth and make sure they are seated correctly. See where I'm at here. Make sure these are even. And there. 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 I like to shove them back and forth just a little bit to make sure that they're seated. Seated in there well. See how this one right here is not quite seated. Push that down in there, push that down in there. And then we're ready to put our caps on. Okay, normally before we put the crank in, we would plastic gauge it. We're going to use, uh, this is what it looks like. You see there's the measurements right across here. That's metric. If I flip it over, this is a four to nine thousandths of an inch. Um, basically what you do, this little blue strip here, we're going to cut a piece about that long. And we're going to lay it right across here. Um, depending on what our spec's supposed to be. Put our main bearing cap on, torque it down, and then we would take it off and measure how wide that strip is. Um, there's a blue, we have a red that's two to six thousandths, we have a yellow that's nine to twenty, which is huge, and then we have a green that is one to three thousandths of an inch. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we need to go through and put what we call peanut butter, what Detroit calls it. We're going to put some on the threads, like that. Then we're going to come up under here, under the head. That's the most important part. Put a little on the washer as well. Do the same thing on the other one. We're going to make sure it's good and clean. This one could have been washed a little bit more. Um, probably normally run it through the parts washer, that type of thing. Um, but for now, uh, it's, it's clean enough. There's no dirt on it. It's mostly oil, so I'm not worried about it. Put that in there like so. And then we're gonna put the appropriate cap in the appropriate place, which would be right here. Now, the other trick is we want to make sure that our tang that you can see right here after we put our new main bearing in and our tang right here are on the same side um, so it always goes tang to tang okay we also want to put some oil on the bearing like so uh, like i say that 105 um, engine assembly lubricant works really well then we're going to get these started and i'm going to tap that in there until it seats then we're going to run our bolts down and torque them i'll be back all right
Yeah, I shouldn't be using that probably, but put them down in there. Is that shaky or not bad or? It's not bad. That was a little quick. Then it's viewable. Viewable? Okay. Yeah. Let's get the impact gun. <laughs> oh. All right. So you want to start here. All right. You want to pause it a minute. So. I can do this part. So we'll come up here to the torque specs, which are right there. Three forty seven to three ninety one. Okay. And then we want to do here, 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 here. Here, here, like a crisscross pattern. Doesn't really matter, just as long as you do the two evenly. Okay. I think I'm gonna end up talking over it anyways. Is that terrible with me? You know, you can see exactly what you're doing. It looks like every other YouTube video I've ever seen. Okay. Maybe if I video doing all, all of them, I'll get one good one, right? Okay. Then we want to come in here and mark each one that we've done. Like so. Make sure your marks are facing the same way, like that. Especially if it's torque turn. If you had these marks going this way and these marks say going this way, it kind of looks to me like they're not torqued. So, okay. right. it's not bad though. Looks good to me. Okay. You're a little pickier than me though. So. I'm not really at this point. <laughs> I post something on there, I'll say, hey, I tried. <laughs> I can see I'm going to have to do a bunch of editing, though. Because I think I've probably made 20 videos from yeah. starting and stopping, you know. Mark those two or four. for that usually I turn it up on end You got somewhere to go today, or? Oh.
Okay. Uh, not yet. Um, then I'm going to mark all the caps. Can you see what I'm doing? No? Yeah. Okay. Your Wi Fi glitches a little bit, freezes, but that won't be in the video. Right. Okay, they're all marked. Then we want to check for in play. So, yeah, checking back and forth. I'll have to get a dial indicator out in a minute. Check it. But it spins by hand, so I must have done something right. Okay, you can pause it. Okay, I'm going to zero the indicator. Right there. Okay. And I'm going to pry it crankshaft back and forth, and it looks like I've got about eight thousandths, looks like. Oop. That could have hurt. The spec, I believe, is eight to twelve thousandths. We'll go look it up in the book here in just a second, but that's how you check in play. Can you zoom out now? Could you see me moving the crank back and forth? Or you could? Okay. So it's probably good enough. Okay. Okay, we need to check our crankshaft in play. Can you see where I'm pointing? Yes. Okay. Um, it's calling for, calls it in play and thrust clearance uh, with a maximum of uh, 16 and a half thousandths or 165 ten thousandths. We were at eight thousandths. They're not giving a minimum, but usually you want at least one or two thousandths anyways. Let's see where it says that. Run out tolerance. Huh. It's not showing it there. All right, you want to stop it. 